I'm Lauren from Giorgio Draws and today we are going to be painting a quick watercolour Christmas card that should only take around five minutes. Let's get started. Okay, so if you're anything like me at Christmas, then you really want to be giving a handmade gift or card to friends and family, which is lovely. However, it takes time. And that's something that we don't have a lot of, especially at Christmas. So I wanted to do a greetings card that was simple, that should only take you around five, 10 minutes. And it's punchy, it's got a beautiful design and it's gonna look gorgeous. So let's get started. I chose to do some simple lettering for this card. So I've gone for joy and I've just roughly sketched out where I'm going to be painting, just to give me a vague idea. Nothing, nothing special, just super simple. And I'm just going to stick to traditional red and green for this. So I'm using the Winsor & Newton Cropman palette. And to start off, I'm just going to add an outline. So the idea with this style is I'm going to get my lettering down in watercolour and then I want to add a few little sprigs that are kind of growing out of the words. And it should look really festive and traditional but won't take too long. So I'm just going along my outlines. I'm, I'm not being too fussy if I go over, whatever, it's all good. Um, and I'm just weakening the water, the colour every now and again so that we get these lovely gradients. So there's the first letter done, it's looking cute already. And you could definitely just leave it as lettering if you wanted to, but I'm a greenery girl, so we're gonna be adding some in. Now you could do all of the lettering and then come back in with your greenery if you wanted to. Um, if you did, I would suggest that you let it dry first uh, I'm going to go ahead and do everything at once, but because I'm a lefty, I'm going to paint my greenery straight onto this piece because if I go over here and then come back for greenery, you know I'm going to smudge that J. You know I am. So let's dive straight in. I've gone for an even tinier brush, a really small detail brush. And I just want some sprigs to kind of pop out at cute little angles. So I'm just experimenting really, I'm just gonna see what works. And then blend them into the letter.
You could use any greenery style that you wanted for this. You could use flowers. It would be a really cute little collection actually. You could do different words, different foliage. And everyone gets a different one. I quite like that really simple actually. I think I'm going to leave that there. So I'm just jumping back to my slightly larger brush and we're going to do the same with the O. Okay. There's something about this style, I think it's the typography with a natural element, it just looks so elegant, like I could almost just have this piece as my only greenery if I wanted to and it would still look stunning. There's um, a lot of room to play, which is nice. I think I might just do, hmm, where are we going to go with the J, that's the question. I think I'm going to, if I go high with the J, I will go low with the O. Low with the O. <laughs> Perfect. Back to the larger brush, finish up with the J. You'll notice I've just added slightly thicker sections to some of the letters so that they have just a little bit more character than if they were all the same width all the way along. And if you didn't feel comfortable with sketching lettering out, you could print something and use it as a template or you could sketch this beforehand like I did and go from there really like the whole alphabet, the whole of words, fonts, is your oyster. And beyond.
for my last sprig, I'm going to go high. So we've got like a high, low, mid thing going on just to keep everything more or less balanced. There we go. So I'm really happy with that. It's actually come together really fast. And I just want to make it extra Christmassy with some berries. And we're done. So there you have it. A handmade Christmas cards. It's simple, it's elegant, and most importantly, it was handmade with love by you. So you could even go a whole step further if you wanted to and do initials on gift tags. You can make a whole thing out of it. Um, there's, yeah, endless possibilities. So I hope you liked the video, happy painting, and if you did enjoy it, then please subscribe and hit the bell and we'll have weekly videos at the ready for you.